sing that love of God song. And that's also a reminder for the husband that you yeah, should yeah, yeah. love your wife like that. Amen. Yeah, Verse number 25. Husbands, ready, go. Husbands, love your wives even as Christ also loved the church and gave himself for it. Okay. Uh, I want you to take note that uh, and gave himself for it. Okay. Verse uh, let's pray, Father, help us with our endeavor this morning. Um, be with our hearts, help everyone, especially the husbands. And I hope this preaching will also be profitable for everyone. And thank you, Lord, for the opportunity that we have, the singing, the praises, the thanksgiving, the worship that we had this morning. Help us to continue to worship you with a humble heart. Help us to accept your words with all of our hearts. Thank you, Lord, for dying on the cross. Thank you for giving your life for us. Thank you for that love of God that yes. we have in Christ Jesus. We say yes, Lord, in Jesus' name. Um, Amen. We receive you very much. Okay, for, for the previous series, we discussed about the ordinance of headship. We discussed what headship is not and what then is biblical headship. Bakit po natin inuna po yun? Because the he introduced one husband as the head of the wife. Okay, it was first introduced as the head of the wife. Then, part two po ng atin pong lesson, we discussed we discussed the Christ like love of the husband. This is our third Sunday for this. Okay, the Christ like love of the husband. At the lower pong two parts po yung lesson po niyan. One is the manner of love. Number two is the motive of love. Now we discussed the introduction of the manner of love. Paano po dapat mamahalin ng isang husband ng babae, ang kanyang wife? Okay. Paano po? As Christ. Also. Okay. As Christ also loved the church. So as Christ loved the church, that's the manner of love. Then, then the next question is, Paano nga naman minahal ni Kristo ang kanyang church? Okay? Paano nga naman minahal? Kasi the manner of love is as Christ love the church. Then the next question is, how did Christ or how Christ love the church? So, we discussed last time about giving His life, about, about the verses, about love of God. Then we discuss the three practical ways on how to love your wife. We take on First Peter chapter number three. Then let's go to the manner of love. Okay. Number one under the manner of love. Okay. The manner of love. Okay. Number one is ano po yung meron po tayong four points with regards under po na manner of love. Love. Isa lang po may discuss natin this morning, hindi po kaya nyan po nating oras. Okay? The manner of love, number one, is sacrificial love. Okay? The sacrificial love. That's the manner of love. Now, if you take note of these husbands, paano po ginahal ni, ni Cristo ang kanyang church and gave himself for it. That is literally giving himself up for the church. That is literally giving himself up for the church yeah. and gave himself for it. That's the manner of love. So as Christ also loved the church. Now let's try to let's try to get some things with regards to this sacrificial love. Let's try to know three things. Okay, let's know its example. Let's know its essence. And let's know its uh, exhortation. Okay? So, let's go to the its example. What is sacrificial love? Its example is Christ. So, kung malito ka kung what is the sacrificial love, Christ was made an example. Christ become an example to every head of the home. To every husband. Kung pa paano po mamahalin ang kanya pong 
us out. Let's go to Philippians chapter number 2. Christ as our example of a sacrificial love. It's example, okay? Chapter number, uh, Philippians chapter number 2, verse number 5. Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus, who being in the form of God, thought it not robbery to be equal with God, but made himself of no reputation, and took upon him the form of a servant, and was made in the likeness of man. And being fashioned, okay, and being found in fashion as a man, he humbled himself and became obedient unto death, even the death of the cross. Now, this is Christ's example, no? And sacrificial love is as Christ also loved the church, pineapple, and gave himself for it. That is a sacrificial love. Matikita po natin. Later on, we'll go to the purifying love and all of those stuff. Madami po kasi ang manner po ng love po pinapakita po the entire chapter number 5 all the way to chapter uh, chapter 5 to 31 or to 33. Verse 33. So, this kung una pong pagpakilala, dito po ng paano po, paano po minahal po ng Diyos or ni Cristo ang kanyang church is by giving himself for it. Thus, we call this the sacrificial love. And the one that made example for this is Christ. When Jesus Christ came into the world, okay, he loved the church, okay, and he loved us enough to leave heaven. Hello? The example of Christ, a sacrificial love, is when Christ left the glory above. Sabi po niya dito, who being in the form of God, thought it not robbery to be equal with God. You see there, Christ gave up His rights as God. Okay? He gave up His rights and chose to come to earth in the form of a servant. And that is an acting love. Or that is an acting sacrificial love. Makita po natin dito. That is his example, okay? He loved us enough to leave heaven and to come to earth and take on a human form. And the form of that is he gave up that 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 robe of, of God and put on the robe of flesh and walked with man and took upon the form of a servant in fashion like a man to be spit upon to be mocked upon, to be crowned with a crown of thorns, to be to be nagged with people, to be nailed at the cross, to be to be laughed, and, and, and all of these things, he endured the cross, despising the shame. That's an example of love. Ang iuna mong makikita po dito, mga kapatid, is self-denial. <coughs> He thought it not robbery to be equal with God. This is an example of love with humility. If God is will just take his pride, he is God and he's not obligated to die for each one of us. But his examples ay pinapakita, he endured the cross, he despised the shame, and that is a shameful death. That is a cruel death up there. He obeyed unto death. Watch the next word. Even the death of the cross. Amen. And Christ showed us an example on how he loved the church. He was abused. He was mocked upon. He was slapped. There will be nagging of heads and saying, Yeah, you are not the Messiah. Hello. They put him into an open shame. They take away their clothes. And part them. And he hung on the cross naked. And yet, he thought it not robbery to be called with God. And watch the next word. Made himself. No one made him. No one made him to do that. But he made himself of no reputation. He is king of glory. He is the king of kings and the lord of lords. He is the omnipotent God. This goes 
this, this goes the example. Sa sabi po ng mga aswan, I'm the head of the hole. Here's a job. Magdidiman na kaga. Do what I say. I'm the head of the hole. If Christ will do that, hindi po issue. He is the the Lord of all creation. He is the God of heaven and God of earth, the omnipotent God. Hello. And yet, he did not use that right and humbled himself and obeyed unto death. Made himself of no reputation. It was not the people who made him who made him to be without reputation. He chose to make himself with no reputation and took upon him in a form of a servant. You see, alam niyo po ba ang humility ni, ni Cristo from glory to the cross. You see that? From the glory, from glory to the cross. Bakit po ang cross? Tingnan niyo po, tingnan niyo po yung degradation. Ha? He is from glory He is being in a form of God. But first denial, he thought it not robbery to be equal with God. Right. But made himself of no reputation. Watch. And took the robe of flesh. Okay? It, it was made in the likeness of man. Yung man po na yun, wala pang reputation. Are you so concerned with your reputation? Guess what? There is a God who died for us and made himself with no reputation. Now watch. Paano po? Paano po? Naging likeness of man po siya. And he took upon, man po siya, he took upon himself a form of a servant. Nung nagpunta po siya, isinilang po siya sa mundo ito. Hindi naman siya governor, hindi siya king, hindi naman siya... Hello? Hindi naman siya politicians, hindi naman siya... He's an ordinary, he's a servant. But he could live with man as king. As the king of kings and the Lord, he could do that. But he chose to make himself of no reputation. He was made in the likeness of man. Hello. And took upon himself a servant. Not a mayor, not anyone, but a servant. And uh, as a servant, he obeyed unto death. So the servant, he became an obedient servant. Even a willing servant. Okay, I, I'm going to die. It's, if you want me to die, then I will die. That's an obedient servant. Now watch. From glory to the cross. Even unto death. Okay? Even unto the death of the cross. Bakit cross? Pwede naman siya mamatay na king's death. He could die a servant's death. He could die a, he could die a, 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 a death with reputation. A death with honor. He could die a hero's death. Hello? He could die a military's death. He could die a soldier's death. He could die an honorable death. But he obeyed unto death. Even the death of the cross. That's the death of a thief. That's the death, death of a sinner. That's the death of a worse man. That's a cruel death. That's a shameful death. That is a inglorious death. He was slapped. He was marred. He was bruised. He was chastised. That's the example of Christ. And here we go again at home. But may conflict sa husband and wife. Here's the man. And hell no! You know what I said? Pride. That's not love. You want the example of Christ. Kung humility lang ang pag-uusapan, amen? Ladies, don't don't use this. Don't do not usurp this preaching, okay? Do not do not take this preaching that you will or do not use this preaching to do whatever you want at home. We are teaching our men how to love their wives. You do what you are asked to do at home. You do what you are called to do as a wife. Maintain that subjection while your husband is loving you. Maintain that subjection, submission and reverence while your husband is loving you. We're teaching how a husband should love 
That's why. The example of Christ, He endured such contradictions with sinners. He loved the church enough to die. But prior to His death, long before He died, okay? Long before He died, He first denied Himself of His rights. He deprived Himself of His rights. And He has all the rights in the world because He is the Almighty God. He has all the rights in the whole world. He had came down and walked with man and eat with man and suffer and endure the cross. Endure the cruelty of the cross. Okay, sabi ko na Isaiah 52. Bago po mag Isaiah 53. Isaiah 52 verse 13, if I'm not mistaken, He was marred more than any man. That's right. Thank you, Lord. Amen. And you cannot find beauty more common than right. him. There's no beauty that you should desire of him because he was marred more than any man. Like example, Christ is our perfect example. Hello. He's our example. Look at 1 Peter chapter number 2. 1 Peter chapter number 2. Man, he's our example. Tignan na po ang kanyang example in Jesus Christ. Look at chapter number 2. Look at verse number, okay? Look at verse number, uh, let's start with verse number 20, okay? For what glory is it when when ye be buffeted for your faults, ye shall take it patiently. But if, when ye do well and suffer for it, ye take it patiently, this is acceptable with God. Para bang, ang verse ni Paul yan, just suffer to be defrauded. Amen. Just take the wrong, then suffer to be defrauded. Verse 21. For even you were un here unto you were called, but Christ also suffered for us, leaving us an example that ye should follow his steps, who did no sin, neither was guile found in his mouth, who when he was reviled, reviled not again. When he suffered, he threatened not, but he committed himself to him that judged righteously, who his own self bear our sin in his own body on the tree, that we being dead to sins should live unto righteousness, by whose stripes ye are healed. Amen. Hello. Ano po si Cristo on how to love? Leaving us an example. It's example. Kaya po may mga may mga tyranny sa bahay. May mga may mga mga battered wife sa bahay because they take headship wrongfully. They take headship as a right. But speaking of rights, Jesus Christ gave up his rights to redeem his church. Hello. He gave up all his right to purchase his wife. That's an example of a sacrificial love. Ang una po niyang sinacrifice po mga kapatid before dying on that cross is he sacrificed all his right. He gave up his rights to be equal with God and chose to come to earth in the form of a servant. That is already a great denial. That is already a great abandonment of his rights, of his reputation. Hello? That's an example. Sometimes, ang pinaka-prideful po dito sa bahay, pag nag po ang mga ang husband and wife, ay talagang, talagang boss na boss talaga, talagang. Kaya da, dumating na, nagsuntukan, nagsabunutan, nag, nagsigawan, nag, ano, what, hindi Christ-like husband. Real love, man, is sacrificial. Hindi ka, hindi ka nirespeto sa iyong headship, so be it. Just love your wife anyway. Minaltrato ang order, ang ordinance of headship, hindi ni respeto ng wife po. Just love her anyway. You, we don't have that right to hit them. But we will respond in loving them just like Christ. How many times we mock Christ? How many times we disrespect Christ? How many times we, we, we destroy Christ's name and we blaspheme Christ? 
Yet Christ loved us continually. Yet Christ continued to show us. That's an example of Christ as well. Hello? Do you think my awa is abahay kung my loving husband? Again, ladies, this is not your license. Mahiya naman tayo, ladies, kung yan ang pinapakita ng husband niyo. Like, nakakahiya, minamahal tayo ng Panginoon, tapos yun ang pinapakita natin sa kanya in response. Kaya nung sabi po, the goodness of God leadeth us to repentance. Amen. Amen. Kaya po nahihiya tayo sa Panginoon Jesus in spite of His goodness, in spite of His grace, in spite of His mercy and love He showed to us every day, and yet we we behave ourselves and simply towards Him. Kaya in response, we should be a faithful servant. In response, we should be we should be a, a, a servant which is loyal. To, to the Lord Jesus Christ, to our Savior. Yun po dapat ng respond. That goes also to the wife. But the husband is you will love them even if you are mocked. You will love them even if you are reviled by your wife. You love them kahit binabastos ka pa. You love them kahit dinishonor ka niya. Hello? Ano pong dininay mo dyan? Actually, ang headship natin, we understand that from our early studies, hindi naman rights eh. Privilege naman yun eh. Position lang yun, binigay ng paano, privileheo lang yun. Hello? Kaya anong i-deny mo? Wala ka mga right eh. But Christ showed us an example of a sacrificial love. Ang una po niyang dininay po na, na, na sa kanyang sinacrifice or ginive up is yung pagka niya and took him in himself a form of a servant before he died on that cruel tree. Now, in application, husband, how do we react when I, when our wives act like the church, apostate church to Christ? Do you respond with a rod? Do you respond with a fist? Or do you respond with love and care just like Christ loved the church? Unmarried young man, if you can do that yet, if you can guarantee yourself that you can do that, don't marry. You will destroy the picture of Christ and the church and the home at home. But when we haven't showed that husband yet to our wives, then let's show, let's pray, let's beg God that He will give us patience. He will give us long suffering, more grace, more mercy. Amen. Mga failures po natin. That's Christ's example. Amen. Amen. He gave himself, no, made himself of no reputation. Okay? He gave up all his rights to be equal with God and chose to come to earth in the form of a servant. That in itself is a sacrificial love. That is Christ's example. And not only sacrifice his rights. Alam mo yung next na sacrifice ni Cristo? He sacrificed his life. You cannot, are you listening? You cannot sacrifice your life to your wife if you cannot sacrifice your rights. Para bang, ang pride na hari. Uy, hari ako. Dapat ang servant ang mamatay sa akin. Hindi ako ang mamatay sa ser- para sa servant. That's the rights. Claiming rights. Pero sa atin, husband. Oh, husband ako. Why should I give my life? Siya dapat na magbibigay na kayong buhay sa akin. Alam niyo po anong respond ni Paul sa ginawa ni Kristo? Sabi niya, And the life which I now live in the flesh, I live by the faith of the Son of God who loved me and gave Himself for me. Thank you, Lord. Amen. If you gave yourself to your wife, husband, they will also give their life for you. But first, you ought to lay down your life for your wife. That's a sacrifice. Why? Why we can't sacrifice our life to our wives? Because we haven't denied many rights yet. In ourselves. Oh, ako dapat. 
Ako ang mas importante sa iyo eh. Ikaw dapat ang unang maghambol. Ikaw ang nang away sa akin. Magsusuri ka kaagad dapat. Now, of course, we're not perfect couple. We're not perfect couple. But I just praise this. These areas, and I thank God in these areas. Okay? May, may pag-aaway po. May misunderstanding po. Pero, kahit sa tingin ko, ang wife ko ang nagkasala sa akin, she could tell you that, that ako ang humingi ng sorry sa kanya. Pero because I did that first, napahiya siya, kumiiyak siya, nasasaktan siya lalo because I am the one who humbled. Kasi alam niya na she offends. Na, na ano po, tapos na, na-realize ko na huli ko sarili ko na mali dapat ang ginagawa ko. Hindi dapat ako ganun mag-respond. Then I ask her. Sometimes we are so prideful. Sabihin ko natin, ikaw ang nag-despise sa akin, ikaw ang nang-away sa akin, ikaw ang nag-dishonor sa akin, ikaw hindi na-respect sa akin, dapat mag-sorry ka unay kasi ikaw na nakasalap. Hindi ganun ang pag-ibig ni Kristo. Can I tell you this? Before you ask sorry to Christ sa ating pagkakamali, you already provided forgiveness already Amen. for eternity Amen. and glory. Amen. Amen. It's a sacrificial love. Kung siyang nagkasala, una, deny that right. Amen. And humble and be like Christ. Yeah. What a sweet home Amen. if the husband will love like Christ. And if the wife will submit just like the church should submit. Hindi pala ang bahay problema, no? Yeah. Refuge pala ang home, no? Yeah. Happy home sana, no? Bakit may daming problema sa bahay? Kasi they don't understand their role yeah. as husband. Parang type of heaven sana ang church, ay ang ano, ang home na. Heaven-like sa If everyone just understand, if every husband needs to know the road, huwag ka agad, gagamitin ka agad mong privileyo. You cannot use your, your position, your headship to hit them or to hurt them. Your headship is for loving them. Your headship is for protecting them. Your headship is for your provision. Your headship is for your care and nourishment. Never for hurting them. It's not headship. Amen. Amen. It's not headship. Number two, under na sacrificial love, it's example number two, it's essence. Ano po yung essence? Look at look at Ephesians chapter number two. Verse number two, wherein in time past you walk according to the course of this world, according to the prince of the power of the air, the spirit that now worketh in the children of disobedience, among whom also we had all our conversation in times past. In the last of our flesh, fulfilling the desires of the flesh and of the minds, and were by nature children of wrath, even as others. Sabi po ng Romans 1, we are worthy of death. Because there's no good dwelling in us. We are enemies of God. We are worst of the worst. What's the essence of Christ's love? Verse number 4, but God. That made a difference. But God, the bad news is verse 2 and 3, but God, who is rich in mercy for His great love, wherewith He loved us. His great love, wherewith He loved us. Sacrificial love has nothing to do whether you deserve it or not. Sacrificial love is, is, is nothing to do with attraction. Sacrificial love is love. Uh, sacrificial love is undeserved. Okay? Christ is not rescuing the people who deserves rescue. 
Christ did not love His people who deserve to be loved. He is saving those who don't deserve it because. Why? Because that's the nature of His love. That's the essence of His love. It goes beyond mistakes. It goes beyond fault. It goes beyond unlovable. Okay? The world loves. The world define loves. Okay? Yung object-oriented love is, ito po yung sinasabi na, I love you. Okay? So if the object is desirable, they will say, I love you. Okay? Or when a people pick a partner when they like the beauty when they when, when it's good and I love you that's that's how men will love their their love is a response to how people show to them if the people will hate them then they will hate that people but Christ loved is even though he was mocked he was beaten and yet he loved it anyway. the people that he created who rebel and yet the same people that he died for question Sino po ang deserving in this world? You know, kung kung ang pag-uusapan kung ang issue lang is kung sino yung worthy at kung sino kung ang issue lang ay justice, not mercy, not love. If the issue is justice, we are all in hell. Because it is just right for God to put us in hell. It is just right for God to curse us. It is just right for God to kill us right then and there. But that's not God's love. The essence of His love is He loved even the unlovable. He loved even the enemies. He loved even those who blasphemed, who mocked Him, who slapped at Him. Okay, when He was on the cross, after the reviling, after the mockery, after the shame, he was held on the cross and cried out, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. That's right. That's the essence of Christ's love. Okay? God's love is different. God doesn't expect the object to be worthy. You don't have to pass God's criteria for God to love you. He has no criteria with His love. Christ did not put some standards and criteria for, for Him to love the church. Because for sure, if God will put that, the church cannot attain it. But He reached down enough from heaven down to earth. Reached down the most reviled, the most ungodly, the most wicked, the most filthy person in this whole wide world. And that's you and me. And yet, God loved us anyway. Because that's love. That's His nature. That's the essence of His love. The essence of His love is He doesn't expect the object to be worthy. It is His nature to love. The difference is it's not the object that defines God's love. It is not us who defines God's love. It is not God or the people defines God's love. It is just the nature of His love. And husbands are to love like Christ. Amen. Amen. If the object of His love is for the undeserving, then He sh none uh, is for the deserving people, then none of this world would God die for. Because none of us is worthy. We are all lost. We are all sheep as gone astray. And Romans chapter number 1, we curse God. Our mouth is just like an open sepulcher. No good about man. Yet he loved us anyway. Could you understand? Yeah. How deep the Father's love for us. How vast upon his measure that we so only some. I know. Who gave a wretch life? How? I didn't say good love. I didn't say good song. 
lost the father turn his face his wounds have marred him doubly son I, I, I don't memorize this word but it's a good song I think I'm that, that song was sound my heart is crying And nakakahiya po ako pinapakita ko pagmamahal sa asawa ko. Layo sa pagmamahal ng Kristo. What can we do? That's Bible. Amen? In John chapter number 3, verse number 16, For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that He gave, that is what? Christ gave Himself. That is a sacrificial love. That he gave him, that he gave his only begotten son. In John 15, verse number 13, greater love hath no man than this, that a man laid down his life for his friend. That a man laid down his life for his friend. That is a sacrificial love. Hello, Romans 5:8. But God commended His love toward us, in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. That's a sacrificial love. In that while we were yet sinners, in that while we were ungodly, Christ died for us. That's the essence of His love. <laughs> Ephesians, at First John chapter number three, verse sixteen. Hereby perceive we the love of God, because He laid down His life for us. That's a sacrificial love. Ephesians five two. And walk in love as Christ also hath loved us and gave Himself for us, an offering. And a sacrifice to God for a sweet smelling savor. That's a sacrificial love. Second Corinthians chapter number five, verse fourteen and fifteen. For the love of Christ constraineth us, because we thus judge that if one died for all, then we are all dead, and that He died for all. That's a sacrificial love. Galatians 2.20 I am crucified with Christ, nevertheless I live yet not I, but Christ liveth in me. And the life which I now live in the flesh, I live by the faith of the Son of God, who loved me, who loved me, and gave himself for me. That's a sacrificial love. Yeah. Hello? Galatians chapter number 1, verse number 4, who gave himself for our sins. 1 Timothy 2.6 Who gave himself a ransom for all. Amen. Titus chapter 2 verse number 14 Who gave himself for us. Amen. Acts 20 verse number 28 Which he had purchased with his own blood. And guess what? That's a sacrificial love. And that goes beyond the undeserving. Have we loved our wife like that? Or we take pride in our position? Or we take pride as the head of the home? God help us. It's the essence of His love. He gave Himself. Or he gave up all rights. The example of that is Christ. And what is His exhortation? Exhortation is Ephesians chapter number 5 verse 25 Husbands love your wives It's the exhortation Husbands love your wives What's the charge? Husbands love your wives How? By Christ's example how? By the essence of Christ's love. Husbands, God, Christ showed us an example. Christ showed us the essence, the kind of love that He gave Himself. Number three, He exhorted us to love our wives. Husbands, love your wife. Amen. Amen. Okay? Look at look at um, Colossians chapter number three, verse number nineteen. Husbands, love your wives and be not bitter against them. 
Husbands, that's the exhortation. Love your wives and be not bitter against them. Hindi ka ni respeto, hindi ginagalang ang iyong ang headship na binigay, binigay ng Panginoon. Hindi ka para bang walang wala, hindi ka treated treat as well, then so be it. Be not bitter, just love them anyway. Amen. You are treated like someone else, just love them anyway. Be not bitter against them. That's the exhortation. Love your wives. He's not saying love her because she deserves. God is not saying love her because she deserves. Love her if. No, the Bible says love your wives. No if. No condition. Love your wife. Okay? It is saying, itong verse na ito, love her even if she doesn't deserve that love. Okay? Love her enough to die for her. Whether she's worth dying, whether she's not worth dying, just love her. That's the exhortation. We are commanded to love our wives. Isn't it the issue of attraction? If it's not lovable, if it's not a, a, attracted, or she's not a good wife, then just love. Because we are exhorted to love. Isn't the issue of binding commandments from God? Isn't the issue of feelings? Isn't the issue of emotion? But I believe, mga kapatid, no? When you chose to love your wife, emotions will follow. But before it becomes emotion, you chose to love your wife. You made a commitment. You made a determination. That's a good will. A decision na ginagawa mo. Feelings, emotions will follow. But your love is not founded by your emotions, by your feelings. It is founded by your good will. By the fact that God asked you to love. I doesn't I doesn't love my I di kuminali yung asawa ko dahil she's lovable. I love my wife because Christ asked me to love my wife. I love her first in truth before anyone else. Love your wife first in truth before anyone else. And you will be guilty, husbands, if you will be not if you are not loving your wife today. Amen. Sacrificial love is undeserved, yet it goes to the furthest extremity. As exampled by Christ, you don't deserve, we don't deserve anything, but He gave us everything. That's the example of Christ. We don't deserve anything, but, sabi ng Panginoon, I, you don't deserve anything, but I'll die for you. There's no holiness in you, there's no good in you, but I will give my life for you. I will shed my blood for you. Amen. You may not deserve all those things. Okay? You may be a sinner. You may not be all that you could be. But that has never been the issue. You could, you could never attain such standard. But that is not the issue of love. The issue of love is what God says. How Christ or how God defined it. Okay? So, husband, let's say this to our wife. I love you and commit myself to you even if you are the least deserving. Because that's Christ. Okay? And I will give everything I have. Amen. Even to the point of dying for you. But you cannot die for your wife or give your life for your wife if you will not deny yourself. If you will not deny yourself that you are important. I am import more important than you, honey. Then you can't die for that. <coughs> but when you start to consider yourself the value of my life, is the life of my wife because she's my body. If I protected her, I protected myself. 
go beyond sa kanya po. Now, later on, mayroon po sa sabihin po sa Ephesians, Husband will love your wife just like you love your own body. Ang katawan mo, sometimes mga kapatid, your body sometimes will fail you. May sakit ka ng chan, sakit ang ipin, sakit ang ulo. Pero, sometimes sakit ang likod, sakit ang buto-buto. Sometimes this body will fail you. But I don't think any one of you okay, hurt your body more. I don't think any one of you did not find remedy just to ease the pain. I don't think any one of you get a knife at sinasaksak mo because you hate your body! Dahil may sakit! But you do all the means na mawala lang yun because you love your body. That is going far. That's Christ's love. Is love an emotion? No. The world says, when the feeling stops, then the love is over. That's the world says. That's right. When I don't have any feeling with you, goodbye. Kaya ang tawag po sa kanila ay serial monogamy. You know, you know, you know, you know, that monogamy is, you are, you are to love one wife. Pero pag serial monogamy is, serial means serial killer. Hindi lang isang napatay mga dami. Pero monogamy ka, nagmamahal ka, one love at a time, pero madami. Okay, ayaw ma- I love you. Pagdating na pa I love you na. Okay, abandon. I love you. Ah, pagdating na pa. Kaya, anong resulta? Polygamy. Ang dami ang sawa. But that's a serial one uh, one love at a time. At a time, ha? Okay, pag ayaw ko na, loves me, loves me na. Okay. Loves me, loves me na. Okay. Because if, 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 if love is based on emotion, if love is feeling, Buti na lang, hindi po yun ang love sa Biblia. The love of the Bible is not feeling, it is the act of selfless sacrifice. Love is an act of giving. Is a selfless sacrifice. Anyone with a need is worthy of it. Okay? Love doesn't act out what it feels. It does what is right. Okay? Love, where there is need, love acts. That's love. It is the purpose of good will. It's never based on what you feel. It's never based on your affection. Though affection will develop within, but you already decided, you already made a choice, made a decision to love your wife. Okay? Husbands, no, you will never know how to love until you sacrifice yourself. Until you deny yourself. Until you die for yourself. You'll never understand what love is until we crucify ourselves. Until we die yourself. Sabi ni Paul, I die daily. That is crucifying your affection, crucifying your rights, crucifying your lusts, crucifying what you want, crucifying any form of exaltation or any pride. You say, you say yeah. more, I die. Yeah. That means, that is the first thing that I have to do. I have to deny pride, rights, whatsoever. We will never understand what love is. We will never understand what sacrificial love is when we can do that. Okay, in 1 Corinthians 13, number, chapter 13, verse number 5, ano yung charity? Seeketh not her own. Seeketh not her own. Bakit? Bakit hindi siya nagahanap inuna niya ang kanyang sarili? Dahil he died already. Okay? That charity died already. Kaya wala na siya. Parang dead to self. Okay? This, parang bang, ang, ang tawag ko nito is, parang yung term ni, term ni Pastor Ben, 
when everything is immaterial when myself becomes immaterial or when myself when I don't anymore put value to myself this self will become for others okay but if you put importance to the self then you will deny of your uh, you, you will deny that love for your wife because important ka pa eh. bakit ka po in ito po bakit ka po willing mamatay sa isang tao dahil your mindset is mas importante po siya sa akin okay so as long as you're looking for what you can get out of marriage as long as you can look we are looking at ano bang makukuha ko sa aming marriage you will never understand what love is but love is undeserved for the undeserved okay and you will never know what is uh, what is it to love your wife even as Christ loved the church that is our charge husbands love your wife even yeah. as also Christ loved the church now you these are assessments atin mga husband we can ask ourselves this when is the last time I made a sacrifice for my wife when is the last time that I made a sacrifice for my wife when is the last time I sacrificed myself for my wife not necessarily na namatay ka na para sa kanya resulta lang yung pag sacrifice pag sabi mo, you deny your pride you deny your rights, you deny what you want you deny kung anong gusto mo nasusunod when was the last time kung anong gusto ko yun ang masusunod no more question, no more argument case is closed hindi ganun gagay tayo ha? whether you like it or not when was the last time? Okay, when is the last time I sacrificed myself for my wife? When is the last time I came close to actually being willing to die for my wife? May naalala ka bang scenario na nung tingin ka ibigay talaga literally ang buhay mo? Okay? When is the last time I came close to actually being willing to die for my wife? Hinabol kayo ng aso. Ikaw ang unang tumakbo. Come on. <laughs> Come on. San Samilia. <laughs> Nakakita ka ng ipis. Ikaw ang unang tumakbo. Come on. <laughs> ha? Pakitanggal yan. Pakitanggal yan. Ikaw ka. Are you listening? When is the last time I set aside my own rights for the benefit of my wife? Amen. So the whole heart of the matter is dying to self. As once we need to die to self. Okay? This world is telling us be macho, be man. Amen. Well, okay? Be the big shot. Don't let anyone step in your own territory. Fight back. Okay. You deserve more. Build up your identity. Do not give up that reputation. You're the head of the home. Do not give that to your wife. Yun po ang pinopromote palagi. Grab all what you want. Grab all the gusto. Amen. Get what you desire. Demand what it should be demanded. Okay? But the Bible says, crucify yourself. Amen. Eh, sabi ni Paul, I am, I am crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live. Yet not I, but Christ. Live it in me. In the life which I now live in the flesh, I live by the faith of the Son. Somewhere along the line, if you're going to love your wife as God says, as God says you should, if you're going to love her as Christ, was willing to die. Okay? 
in loving the church and you're going to have to make a sacrifice for her. Even if it's every day, how often do you sacrifice for your wife? Because loving is sacrificial. Okay, the manner of Christ's love is sacrificial. Are you listening? That is not about what you can get. But the love of Christ is what you can. <clears throat> Kung ang atin din pagmamahal sa Panginoon ay sacrificial, Kung ang pagmamahal po natin sa bawat isa ay sacrificial, napakagandang local church. Amen? Walang mga self-centered. Glory to God, we have this truth. But I glory more because Christ showed me the pattern of love. And I felt that love. And I'm ashamed not giving that love to my wife. And would to God that we will be like Christ at home because we are the picture of God in our hearts. And what manner of love? Number one is a sacrificial. Thank God and let's pray. Father, thank you for, for allowing us to learn these things. Thank you, Father, for loving us first. We love you because you first loved us.